And we're at the Soulard Coffee Garden for the art exhibit of... Robert Gilman. I'm from Cleet Claw. I grew up in Cleet Claw. And my fa uh, grandfather was a portrait painter. That's, he started me painting when I was six years old. Today is May 19th, 2012. This is T.C. and Miss Kitty. T.C. has passed on, but Miss Kitty is still alive. She's 21 years old. This is, uh, I was down at the circus downtown, and I was in the back room, and I took a picture of this clown while he was dressing. And I forgot his name, but he was really neat to paint. Okay. This was a little girl named Sue, whose mother brought her over, and I had the Victorian dress and the dolls and everything, and this was painted in my front yard. You had flowers like that in your front yard? Yes. Wow, they're great. This is Lafayette Square Park, and I did it back the way it used to look and not the way it does now, but the little bridge is still there, and I added the people on the park bench. This is, this is the, I call it the wedding dress. It was June, my favorite model. She posed it for me ever since she was 16 years old. And this is her great-great-grandmother's wedding dress from Sicily. And Sicily is in the background, and June posed for me when I did this one. This is June also in a tutu, and she was posing for me. She broke the strap when she was putting her shoe on. And the cat is TC, the painting before you saw back there. This was done upstairs on my second floor. I, uh, I did it right there in the main uh, oil. This is also June modeling for me, and she posed in her wedding dress just before she got married, and the painting behind there is my painting too. It's called the Mardi Gras. This painting I did at the Charles home up on the South Broadway by 55. The home is now being closed. And this is a woman I knew. And this is the parlor, the parlor where she uh, posed for me. She was 90 years old. This painting is uh, from the east side looking towards St. Louis with the East Bridge. It's from an old photograph, black and white. This is another clown. This was a midget, and he was a friend of the other clown that you saw. And the other clown is putting on his makeup in that little circle up there. That's the other clown. I think his, this midget was named Bill. This this painting I titled. Picnic on Sunday. 
and its influence. Uh, Charles Gardner. This painting is a done uh, from a friend of mine named Toby Weiss. She was upstairs at my house and she grabbed the piano and I said that'd make a great painting. So I, I did a painting of it. painting was a, a friend of mine's grandchild and her name is Annabella and she wasn't feeling good when I took this picture so uh, it was on Christmas Eve. Okay, we'll go downstairs. Okay. This was painted in Maine when I was there on a visit. And the lighting struck me so great that I had to paint it. This is a painting of my backyard with the fountain. This was 4th Street downtown, and it was from a black and white picture that Steve Bastic took. And I copied it, but I went down and I sort of copied the same kind of area with the color and stuff. Not really. The buildings are all gone now. This painting is a Cherokee Indian, and it's also done from a black and white old photograph. This is the old rock house downtown by the uh, train tracks that went over next to it. This building has been all torn down and it's completely gone. This is a portrait of myself when I was six years old with my father's bird dog, Mike. And the picture was taken from my uh, box camera my mother took of me. I, I really didn't want this picture taken, as you can see. Um, thank you very much. And I forgot to mention this is St. Louis, Missouri. Sulars.